Hey everybody, uh, today we're at uh, Divine H2O, the Feel the Homeless Day, and lots and lots of Kiss the Monkeys members have come out. As you can see back here, all the food's been loaded up and, been, and all the clothing donations. And, and uh, Kiss the Monkeys uh, have come out today to help uh, to feed as many homeless people as we can down in Skid Row, which is one of the worst areas of where all the homeless uh, live, down in downtown Los Angeles. And I've got a very, very special friend here with me today, DeAndre. Lampkin from the Lampkin Foundation. Tell us a little bit about yourself, DeAndre. Yeah, sure. So, uh, Kiss the Monkeys invited me out again. I mean, we partner all the time with various projects, and I really enjoy it. I want to say thank you, by the way, for, for always wanting to work together, and, and it's just been just an awesome opportunity all the way around. We do a lot of things that make, you know, that are really good for our community, and it's a direct uh, correlation with our mission, which is to build stronger, more resilient communities together. Uh, but So, I want to say thank you for that, Al. But, um, yeah, today we're out here. We're going to be feeding people who are in uh, uh, already in certain areas of the Skid Row who are receiving services and uh, making sure that they're able to get a meal this holiday season because as you guys know that a lot of food pantries and a lot of food banks are overran uh, this year due to the COVID-19 pandemic and the population that we're going to go uh, serve right, is a population that may not have been able to get to those food pantries or get to those food banks so we're going to make sure that we show them this week that they're not forgotten. Cool, so cool. And of course, uh, one of the highlights of today is we've managed to get 15 turkeys donated. And we were, <laughs> last, last night we were trying to work out what we were going to do with these turkeys. Because how many people can't eat a turkey? They can't cook a turkey. So amazingly, DeAndre came to us with a rescue. And what was the rescue you did for us? Yeah, so uh, the Lafayette Foundation uh, enjoys the partnerships that we have with some of our corporate partners and our donor partners. And some of the other organizations we work with to uh, do these projects throughout the year and one of them happens to be the Midnight Mission. I made a phone call at 11 o'clock at night, uh, last night, to someone who I knew worked over there, and uh, sure enough, they answered the phone and uh, said that we can go ahead and drop off those turkeys today, so that way they can continue to fulfill their mission as well. Fantastic, and it took a, a, almost half the car, so they're gonna need so much turkey for the whole street down there, we're so happy. And so, DeAndre, tell us a little bit about yourself, really, what do you do? Yeah, so I'm the founder and board chair of the Lampka Foundation. We're based out of Ontario, California, and we focus on uh, issues surrounding food scarcity, education through our scholarship fund, and also disaster relief efforts. So our foundation has worked on several projects this year. Despite COVID, we continue to uh, try to help the survivors of the 2018 Woozy Fire in Agora Hills uh, and those who were uh, victims of the fires in Thousand Oaks. Uh, we also work on our census uh, plan for the city of Ontario. And we recently opened up, not recently, but in March of this year, but on the onset of the pandemic, we opened up our food pantry so that way we can ensure that residents uh, um, who are facing furlough or unemployment do have a place they can go to receive a meal. Fantastic. DeAndre has got such a big heart and he's a great Kiss the Monkeys member and we absolutely call him. Thank you so much for coming today, DeAndre. Thank you, Al. I appreciate it. Show you in love. We wanna welcome.